We are given the length of side C is 184 units, angle A equals 83 degrees, and angle B equals 47 degrees. We are asked to find the length of side B. Let's begin by labeling the angles and sides of the given triangle, where we use capital letters for the angles and lowercase letters for the sides. Because the angle A is 83 degrees, let's call this angle A, and therefore the opposite side, this side here, must be side A. And because B is 47 degrees, let's call this angle B. And therefore the opposite side, this side here, is side B, leaving this angle as angle C, and this side as side C. And now let's label the given information. We know angle A is 83 degrees. We know angle B is 47 degrees. And we know side C is 184 units, which is this side here. And our goal is to find the length of side B, which is this side here. In order to use the law of sines to find the length of side B, we need to find the measure of the angle opposite this known side, which means we need to find the measure of angle C. And since we have the measure of two of the three interior angles of the triangle, and we know the sum of the interior angles of any triangle is equal to 180 degrees, we can easily find the measure of angle C. Again, the measure of angle A plus the measure of angle B plus the measure of angle C must equal 180 degrees, which means the measure of angle C must equal 180 degrees minus the measure of angle A minus the measure of angle B, which gives us the measure of angle C equals 180 degrees minus 83 degrees minus 47 degrees, and therefore angle C is equal to 50 degrees. Now that we know the measure of angle C, we have enough information to use the law of sines to find the length of side B. We can use the fact that the sine of 47 degrees divided by B must equal the sine of 50 degrees divided by 184. Or more generally, the sine of angle B divided by the length of side B must equal the sine of angle C divided by the length of side C. Performing substitution gives us the sine of 47 degrees divided by B, which is unknown, must equal the sine of C, which is the sine of 50 degrees, divided by the length of side C, which is 184 units. And now to solve for B, we could cross multiply, or we can multiply both sides of the equation by the least common denominator, which is 184B. Let's go ahead and multiply both sides by 184B. This will clear the fractions from the equation. If it's helpful, we can write 184B as a fraction with a denominator of one. Simplifying before multiplying here, B divided by B simplifies to one, leaving us with 184 sine 47 degrees equals on the right, 184 divided by itself simplifies to one, leaving us with B times sine 50 degrees. And that is solve for B, we divide both sides by sine 50 degrees. Notice on the right side, sine 50 degrees divided by itself simplifies the one, leaving us with B equal to the quotient on the left, which we will approximate on the calculator. It is important to make sure the calculator is in degree mode before performing this quotient, which we can see here that it is. We need the numerator in parentheses, and therefore we begin with open parenthesis, 184 sine 47, close parenthesis for the sine function value, close parenthesis for the numerator, and then we have divided by sine 50. If we round B to four decimal places, notice how there's a five in the fifth decimal place, and therefore we round up, B is approximately 175.6675 units. I hope you found this helpful.